time now is maybe let's see what time it is. Um, it's about nearly seven o'clock or three minutes after. I was outside. I just fried some fish outdoors near my garage door. That's pretty close, but I wanted to deal with the smell of it inside the house. And I was noticing the sun. First, I had noticed that the sun had went down behind some trees and got to a junction part, point in the tree where limbs was coming out. And the sun had not moved for about 15 minutes. Okay. Now I'm looking at the sun, and it's hard to see with my phone because my phone doesn't have the <coughs> most advanced lens system. It's an Android, of course. But the sun now is pulsating in a rhythm. Okay. It's pulsating in the rhythm. I want to see if I can get a little closer. I may do a part two video. I want to see if I can move a little closer. But I'm looking at the sun. The camera for the phone is not doing very well as far as picking up the quality of the sun, but the sun is pulsating. And, and you, you, you don't, I'm looking at the sun pulsating like, boom, 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 boom. And the sun is also rising as at the same time. The sun is not setting, it is rising. <sighs> Let's see what we can capture here. Let's see. And let's see here. Hold on. Right. And I don't think I can get a really good clear shot of it because the tops of the treetops are going to cover it here. But, uh, let's see here. I looked at the sun so long, the glare is in my eye now. <laughs> so you can find that better spot we can get the sun again. <laughs> We can find here. Now, in my phone, you can't see it pulsing, but it's it's pulsing like whoa, 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 right, 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 right. Sounds pulsing. It's really pulsing now. Let's see if I can find a better spot. I don't know. Oh, yeah, right there. I have to get down. I have to get down. Uh -oh. So he's just pulsating. Wow, 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 wow. First Peter 5 and 8. Be so. Shalom. Call Halaylam La Yahawa. Bahashim Yahushai. Bahashem Rekahakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles and faithful servants of great millstone of Ruel, who teach this gospel and push this gospel to the four corners of the earth, risking their lives and freedoms to do so, especially in these times. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad to the four corners of this earth. Building the Tabernacle of David. I refer to them as the Carpenters. Shalom. Now, yesterday evening, um, as I stated in the video, um, I had a few pieces of cod fish that I wanted to uh, fry up. It had been in the fridge for a couple of days. <coughs> and... Um, you know, I bring a lot of food into this household, but I eat different. Why? Because we now eat according to the law of Yahweh Shem Yerushal Leviticus 11.13. I eat an enormous amount of fish. Even before I came to the knowledge of the truth, now I eat even more fish now. Um, lamb, meat, goat. I eat a lot of things that we would, that we ate when we were in Israel. Okay. So now... Um, but anyhow, getting to the point, I had been no, I had I had had noticed ever since around 2012. Um, I had noticed then that the sun seemed to have been changing to me. Um, I even had 
uh, words with a few people around my neighborhood that pay attention just as much as I do to things in the sky and things around of us, around, you know, around, around, around your house and just weird stuff, you know. <clears throat> and um, I had even said, I said, man, I said, you see the sun, the sun is changing. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, when the sun rises in the morning, it has that orange, dark orange look, all right? Then as it rises about maybe 8, 9 o'clock, it turns yellow. But only the noonday sun, which is the sun directly over your head, like directly over you, is a white sun, okay? And um, then in the evening, about 2 o'clock, 2 to 3, it's it's yellow again. And then as it sets, it sets into an orange color. Yeah, I bet you one thing, it's not like that no more, if you notice. When the sun comes up now, the sun is orange down on the horizon as we get into sunrise, right? <coughs> it's lucky. But then after that, it's yellow for maybe, I don't know, 8 o'clock, 8.30. After that, it's white. And he be white until six six o'clock in the evening. Now, yesterday evening, I was outside again. Like I stated in the video, I was um, frying some fish outdoors. And um, you all know that fish has a a particular type of scent that just lingers. <laughs> okay, so any anyhow, um, and I had a little little stool, if you will, it's a planter stool, and um, I was sitting at under my carport. At the ends of both cars, there's a car to my left. I'm I'm at the back bumper, and there's a car to my right, and I'm at the back bumper. I'm looking at the sun, and as the sun sets, those trees that you see there in that video, um, here. I know it's hard to see, but let me give me a second. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, now this right here is toward the highway um at my home okay so that's the highway running in front of my my my, my house and uh <coughs> i live in a rural area okay so there's a lot of open spaces a lot of pine trees of course but a lot of open spaces but anyhow and let's see if i can get it here there's a tree right there behind where the sun at Okay, there are three trees behind that sun. Where do you see the sun that on the screen? There's a tree above the play icon. Okay, that's one tree. There's a tree to the left of that. But the tree that you see by up above the play icon, yesterday evening the sun had set around 7 o'clock around that time. Well, I looked it up last night on timeofday.com. It said that the sunset time was 8.37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So at around 7 o'clock, I had watched the sun as I was sitting out there waiting for my fish to fry. I was I had watched the sun go down to a certain point in the midst, middle section of that tree in the middle, but right above the play icon. And then the sun sat there for 15 minutes. It didn't move, but it was pulsating. I mean, I say pulsing, I mean bright, dim, bright, dim, bright, dim, bright, dim, and it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, damn, look at this. Yeah. I have a little bit of background in things that they're trying to do with the sun right now, and uh, but we'll get into that in later in the video. Now, and I'm not going to let you take my, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to bring up videos that millions of people have seen in the last couple of years or months that all point to the fact they help you understand what's happening with the sun, okay? And, and, and it's not so much as a whole lot is happening with the sun, is people are setting up things around the sun, <laughs> okay? So you really don't even see the damn sun no more. You see something else, but we'll get to that. <coughs> now, <coughs> as I stated, as I stated, as I stated, the sun had set. In that position where it is now, okay. But it sat there for fifteen minutes. Then the day, then the sun began to rise. It began to come up. I sat right there and watched it. I right. okay. I have no reason to lie. Then the sun moved to the right a little bit to the next tree where it is now. 
this this son right here was like like I said, you see the play icon on the, on your screen here, and for me to play the video, this son was in the middle of that tree. It was higher, and it was in the middle of that tree, right behind the play icon. Now look where it is. It ain't moved. Now there was the first thing that came to my mind. And we're going to grab these scriptures. Again, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Shah, Bashem, Kahak, Badash, the Ron, to the Elders and Apostles, Great Millstone, who rule well. This message of this video is given to and is spoken to the children of Israel, which are United Americans, Negroes, so called, so called Hispanics, so called Latinos. You are the 12 tribes of Israel. How do we know that? Because we fit each and every one of the curses of Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68. That's number one. Number two, Yahweh was the name of my father I created in ancient Hebrew. Yah means he, Hawa means he to be, he exists. Yahweh Shai was the name of our Lord and Savior in ancient Hebrew. Hebrew Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means our salvation, our deliverer in ancient Hebrew. Okay. And the Rakah HaKwadash, Rakah means spirit, Kwadash means holy in ancient Hebrew. So right now I'm just going to grab a few scriptures and uh, we're going to bring some things out. But I'm also going to go and pull some videos from the YouTube. And um, you're going to really see some things that's going to cause you to go, hmm. Okay. Now let's begin. First precept I'd like to begin with is going to be... Uh, um, Matthew 16 and 3. Um, <clears throat> no, I take that back. Uh, let's look at Luke 21 and 25 first. I'm trying to do a video where things kind of make more sense. Because when you jumble up stuff, you got it all in there, but nobody understand it but you. <laughs> okay, so let's take a different route. We're going to cover that precept as well, but we're going to take a different route in going to it. Okay, Luke 21, 25. And I believe it's already up, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's already up. Okay, uh, let's just go and put that in there now to get that off the screen. Okay, now, the King James Version on your right hand side of the screen. <coughs> and the uh, NLT is on the left hand side of the screen. And it reads And there shall be signs in the sun. And in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and waves roaring, okay. uh, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Now, you, it might be a little bit difficult for you to understand. We're going to break that down, okay? We're going to help you to understand that, okay? Now... He says, and there shall be signs in the sun. Now, this particular sign that I'll be speaking of now in this particular video is a particular type of sign. But I'm, again, I'm going to gather the YouTube videos necessary to prove to you and help you to understand what is actually happening along with Scripture. Now, signs in the sun and moon and the stars. And people say, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? You remember those full blood red moons we had? You remember that? Okay. Now, not four blood red moons. Uh, four moons is called a tetrad. Um, I believe we had a blood red moon here not too long or a few months ago. Um, we had one, I remember, last year, January. It was cold out. Um, um, and remember now, also, pay attention. We had four blood red moons in 2008 when uh, Barack Obama was presiding, king of Babylon. He was the president. And when we had the big bailout, oh, uh, AIG and GM need a bail. Oh, they need a bailout. They need a bailout. Okay. That was, we had four blood red moons in that time frame, in that in that year. Okay. So these are signals. You know, we know that Genesis 1, 14, and we'll get that, tells us that um, the Lord created the sun, the moon, the stars, and the, the sun and the moon, the stars are for a declaration of times and seasons. So the Lord, Yahweh Shemeshah, by way of creation, has, has allowed these particular 
items, the sun, the moon, the stars, to set up as a time clock, if you will, for the children of Israel who awaken to the knowledge of the truth and operating through the spirit of truth to be able to tell kind of where we're at in things. Um, you see? So, I mean, for instance, the new moon, okay, it declares uh, the, the, new, the new moon declares the new must. We all know that the calendar said that the first might begin on a Tuesday, the first Tuesday. But according to the new moon, the new moon might not come into the sixth. So that's the beginning of the new month. Okay? You understand? Now, <clears throat> let's now, let's, um, now, so, and I think we had another eight years later in 2016, we had some other crises going on in, in America, and there was another full blood red moon. Okay? <laughs> you see? <laughs> yeah. So, as as major things begin to happen, um, major prophecies begin to start. Time frames, we know that prophecies, prophecies are, all the prophecies are happening in order. First Corinthians 14, 4, that all things be done decently and in order. So as those sets, as sets of prophecies come to an end, bam, we have something else going on in, in the sky, in the firmament. The Lord is letting us and communicating with us to let us know what's going on, when, where, and why, and the scriptures tell us why. And how it's all going down. So you have to be paying attention. And I used to watch a little. Um, I'm a fan of Doctor Who, and um, the Daleks, <laughs> and um, it was a sci-fi feature um, about a time lord, um, and, and that's what it, you can see it. Uh, look it up on Google or YouTube. And one of my favorite actors that used to. Uh, work in the late 70s, mid to late 70s, was Tom Baker. Okay, and Tom Baker um, played Doctor Who, and um, after Doctor Who would go off on the educational television station here on a Saturday night, a Saturday evening, um, I'd be done watch Apollo and all that other stuff, you know, whatever the case is on Saturday night, but what what a, what what I would, it, it was a little segment that came on, it was called Star Hustler, and you can find it. It's on YouTube, <laughs> um, the mentions of the show series. It was called Star Hustler with Jack Horheimer. And this man would come out a super excited. He would come out in with a black screen behind him, stars and stuff like that behind him. He would be walking on what appears to be one of Saturn's rings. So that would be his walkway out. And he would talk about, you know, things going on at night over the next week, how Venus is in retrograde and you're going to be able to see Venus a little bit after sunset in the east sky. And then Jupiter is going to come up behind it. And, okay, that's night. You kind of get the gist of what the, what, what the show was about. And um, I would watch this show. I, I don't miss it. Because at the time I was intrigued by the heavenly bodies and um, eclipses, uh, things of that nature. But anyway, um, let's see the hear them there. Let's keep uh, keep on track. So, but anyway, anyway, I've always been, I've always paid attention to the sun and the moon. Um, there was one time when somebody had said that the moon was fake. Well, we know that the Yahweh Shemeshah says by his word that he created the sun, the moon, and the stars. And also remember John 4, 24 says, God is a spirit. We must worship him in spirit and truth. He also says in John 6, 63, that the flesh profit nothing. It is the spirit that quickeneth the word. Quickeneth means to change. Your spirit is your inner man, okay? Your soul. He says, the words that I speak to you, their spirit and their life. And the reason why I, I mention that to you is because the sun itself, that's in our sky, that's arising right now, is brings physical light on the earth. But Yahweh Shai brings spiritual light on the earth. I mean, that light is another name for truth, right? Let's get that right quick. Uh, John, let me get that. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Not come up like that. John, is it 12? <clears throat> okay, and look and look where it says at the top, Yahweh Shai is the light of the world. Okay. 
And um, he says, then spake Yahweh again to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Okay, now let's look at the word light there. Okay. <sighs> Light comes from the Greek. Okay, that's here in the Greek. Strong's G fifty four fifty seven. Phos. Phos. He says to shine or make manifest, especially by rays, light, the light emitted by a lamp. Okay. All right. Remember the the candlesticks, the seven candlesticks representing the seven churches in Revelation 1 and 20, remember? Okay. Um, surround, hold on, watch this. A heavenly light such as surrounds angels when they appear on earth. Okay, and who are the angels appearing on earth? Those are the hope elect of the house of Israel. The one-third that salvation is promised to. Okay, the chosen ones. Okay, the chosen spirits. Okay, electos in the Greek. Now, a lamp, a torch, brightness. Okay, you see here it says our power is light because light has extremely, and it's not you. Our power is light because light has the extremely delicate, subtle, pure, brilliant quality. Listen, listen at this. Listen at this. Let's look at it. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to see. Of truth. And its knowledge to get hold on, of truth and its knowledge together with the spiritual purity associated with it. So that's the spirit of truth combined with the word, the doctrine of the word itself. Again, John 6, 63. It is the spirit that it quickeneth. The words I speak through their spirit and their life, John 4, 24. God is the spirit. We must, we must, we must, we must. Worship him in spirit spirit and in truth. Okay. All right. Um, the power of understanding moral and spiritual truth. You understand? Lord of all you get and get knowledge and get an understanding. Now, um, let's go back. <clears throat> Let's look at John 14 and 6 as well, where the Lord tells you he is the way, the truth, and the light. Okay, let's get it. John 14 and 6. Remember that word was false? Okay, let me see. Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now let's look up the word truth here. <coughs> so you remember when the Bible says in Cletus 1 and 9, I'm paraphrasing, he says, um, what has been should be again, for there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, well, the truth is Yahweh Shai, which is the light. Okay. Then we are in these fleshly bodies, and now as of Genesis chapter 3. So now we need light on the earth. Okay, and remember that light, um, that light blesses all. The good, the bad, and the damn ugly. <laughs> and the doomed, and the damned, okay? Because we see we receive one from it. Um, for us, those of us who have a darker pigment in our skins, um, the uh, I, I can tell you one thing I can tell you about me, but it's summertime, wintertime. I do it every day. When I get up in the morning, I go outside. First thing I do is I get up, and usually I'm up for throughout the night in time, different time frames. But when I get up in the morning, I pour a glass of my lemon ginger glass. I'm drinking it now. Two of an hour peppers, the other pasta gambasso, other pasta gabar. <laughs> You know, I thank him for this this strength because I really feel it each and every morning. You know, it gives me energy and I really what I like to say is vitality. I mean, you know, but anyhow, um 
And then I go outside, and then I get um, my, 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 um, my water, my alkaline water, and I go outside, and I sit in the sun. I bask in it. Why? Because the sun is our energizer, okay? It energizes us. Okay, now, and usually when I go outside, I, I try to be, unless it's raining, it's wet, I try to be barefoot. Um, simply because I'm connected to the earth. So any healing or any little issue I might have congestion or pain in my body, I'm now connected to the earth, and the earth is also connected to the sun in the spirit as well. Okay, remember, we're spiritual beings in fleshly bodies because we all, we're living upon the earth. Okay, so before we came here, we were spirit beings. When we leave here, we're going back into the spirit. So I try and stay as connected and grounded as much as possible. Now, let's keep on. The truth, okay? And the truth comes from the Greek. And uh, let's see if we can get it up here. Truth, uh, coming from the Greek. Strong's G227, Alethes, Alethes. True, loving the truth, speaking the truth. Now, um, not hidden, okay, unconcealed, okay. Because we know there was a time when Yahweh Shai had the book sealed up, and now he has loosed the seals. But so before he loosed the seals, never I nobody never read the Bible. Because nobody could never understand it. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and all the young folk that even attempt to read the Bible, all that D die do and die and dance forth and what? <laughs> You have to realize that's how they, they spoke that then in that time frame and it was written. Now, um, actual occurrence. Now let's look at something else right quick. Let's go to you. Mm -hmm. okay, let's look at these little words. Okay. Now, um, okay. Now we're gonna go on. We're gonna move on. I don't want to spend too much time. Um, because I don't want to do a really, really long lesson, but I want to point these things out to you now. Let's go to Matthew chapter 3 right quick. <clears throat> Come on. Matthew 16. Now, y'all by Shemim Shah by His Spirit has helped us to understand this word of doctrine. Um, the Lord says, if you draw nigh to me, I will draw nigh to you. Okay, and before Yahweh Shemeshah began to wake me up to the knowledge of the truth, I began to read the Greek Testament, or what's most referred to as the New Testament. And, you know, of course, those Christians, they'll tell you the minute, especially ones that was in the church house that I had attended before Yahweh Shemeshah woke me up to the knowledge of the truth and, and got me out of that mess. Uh-huh. So um, here it is, and this is what it is. And, um, I, everybody will say, oh, you reading the Bible now? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, um, I, she said, yeah. She said, um, you know, it's a cause on your life. Well, I always felt deep inside me that I was called to, to a position dealing with the gospel, uh, not teaching, preaching, not, not being very sure. Okay, but I always felt close to the gospel so to speak, if you can understand that. And you saw with somebody say, hey, starting the full gospel prayer. You know, we ain't got to worry about, you ain't got to worry about the Old Testament. Listen, you want to read it because, because we're under grace, which is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. If you notice, I pull precepts from the Old Testament as well as the New Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, where there's been, should be again, for there's nothing new in the sun. So guess what? Yahweh B'Shem Shah is coming to fulfill the law of the Matthew 24, 34, and 35, right? Okay, well, guess what? He is the law of Moses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is the law of Moses. So what are you talking about? Okay, then the Apocrypha, they know nothing about that. Okay, 
They haven't even heard the word of Prophet Muhammad. So we're moving right along. So as you can see here, he says, I am the light of the world. Now let's keep on Matthew 3, Matthew 16 and 3 is locked in. This is the Lord speaking. Let's go back up. Okay. The Pharisees test Yahushai. Verse 1. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. <coughs> Left me inside your screen. One day the Pharisees and Sadducees came to test Yahushai, demanding that he show them a miraculous sign from heaven and prove his authority. Uh, verse 2, he replied, you know the saying, red sky at night means fair weather tomorrow. Red sky, red sky in the morning means foul weather all day. You know how to interpret the weather signs in the sky, but you don't know how to interpret the signs of the times. <laughs> Okay, and as you can see here, this now, the reason why I reference this scripture is because there are things happening. Even, look at that scripture we begin with. There shall, shall is prophetic, which means it hasn't happened yet, but that time frame is now. It's happening now. There shall be signs. So if the Lord says there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and in the heaven, because the powers, the powers of heaven shall be shaken, then get what? That means we get into expectancy. We begin to expect to see signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for that, right? Are we looking for that? Are we? Are we looking? All right. Well, the Lord said right here in Luke 21, 25, there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. Well, damn it, I'm looking for. Where are these signs at? Let me, let me see. Every day I'm, I'm looking up. All right. Well, well where are the signs? All right. We're on the moon. Oh, why? Because that's the faith in us to believe the word and stand on the word, our doctrine, our rock, and our redeemer, to 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 look for what's happening. That's faith. Faith is the of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Hebrews eleven and one. It is impossible to please our Father without faith. Hebrews eleven and six. Okay. Now, James chapter two tells us in two. Precepts, verse 14 and verse 17 and 18 says, faith without works is dead. So if you have faith to believe this word that this is going to happen, and you have faith to believe this word that the Lord said it, I know it's going to happen. Guess what? I have works. I'm looking up all the time. Then I got to look up. And that goes back to the story about um the, the, the guy, Star Hustler, Jack Holheimer. Okay, I tell you, he walks out. And, and the little story is probably about seven minutes long. That's it. I, usually it's between five and seven minutes, and he's gone. But, you know, he used to always say, and it stuck with me a long time ever since I was about 13 or 14 years old, and I'm nearly 50, okay? And he used to always say, until next time, friends, keep looking up. That stuck with me, and I'm looking up all the time. Day and night, I'm looking up. I'm looking up. Now, Without further ado, I right now I want to jump into these other videos that I have now. Um, I had seen some videos. Let's go to YouTube right quick. And um, let's go here.
start. Let me just go ahead on and put this out right quick. Uh -uh. Um, yeah, um, disclosure Act, Copyright Disclosure. Copyright Disclosure under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit education or, or personal use. Tips are balancing in favor of fair use. I have not I have not collected any monies or any monetary rewards on behalf of any of these sites launching any of this information that I am uh, collaborating to produce this video. Yeah, let's see here. Give me a second. Just wash some clothes or just come here and take my dryer. My dryer is dry and dry. Yeah, dry. Cool. I'm let those clothes stay in there. I'm also boiling out some beets right now. Beet roots. And somebody doesn't come in here and turn my stuff off. Obviously. See if they're soft. Are they soft? Oh yeah, they soft, buddy. Good. I like beets. Beets are really, really good for your blood. Now, I bought some of them out early this morning. And I'll slice them later on when they cool down. <coughs> okay, let's do it. Now, um, now let's continue on. So now, let's saw. Uh, so I, I just really need to state that because we're going through some, uh, some big time, uh, not big time, but some major players. I'm in for now. I'm walking outside my back door right now. I'm going to sit on the step. And the damn sun is the damn big white LED bulb. You you heard? Ooh, ooh. I mean, it's, it's right there in your damn face. It'll blind you if you're wide looking to it. <laughs> okay, now. Give me a second here, pouring out some water. And now, let's see if we can bring up uh, our videos. Thank you for being patient with me. Now, let's go ahead now. So we got our copyright down, right? In fact, let's do something different. Let's come here. Now, I'm going to type something at the end of this uh, thing right here. And I'm not going to say it. So you can't get me on that. I'm just going to type it down. And when I type it down, at your own leisure time, just go and research it. Now watch this. I'm going to type three things now. Okay, here we go. Type something else. At your own leisure time, go and look up those two things. Okay. Um, and you will begin to understand what is actually happening. Okay, now. You know. Uh, now, also, let's look up something else as well. And here it is. Look that up too. Look that up. Look that up. Look that up. So then you will begin to understand all of these things. Okay. Um, and what's on the screen down there now has a lot has a lot to do with um making it rain. <laughs> okay. So they control. Who get the rain, who get a lot of rain, who don't get shit. Okay, they controlled all that stuff. Okay, remember um, Isaiah chapter 14, the Lord says, You have said in your heart that you will exalt your throne above the stars of God. You will be like the Most High. So they are trying to establish a system of God on earth. 
They're going to make it rain. They're going to control the sun. They're going to control the people. They're going to control this. They're going to control the price of gas. They're going to control the price of food. They're going to control who the hell eat, who the hell don't eat. God on earth. Hello. Lucifer, light bearer. Yeah, but a false light. So they're bringing a false truth. And people are believing it. And people have been. That's why you see all these commercials all the time on YouTube about wake up, sheeple. Wake up, or the people sheep, the people sleep, the sheep, the sheep sleep. Yeah, and while you sleeping and looking around and going to the barbecue and the cookout and the damn 4th of July fireworks show, they back in the back switching shit around. They switching stuff around. See, come in right quick. Go ahead and take this out there. No, no, take that back. Hide that. And then when you get back there, oh, this place, they look different. But then they act like ain't shit changed. Yeah, because they done went and they done went and put a whole bunch of stuff in your face so that you could think this and think that. Look at all these reality shows and and love and hip-hop and what's going on with Jimmy Fox and this and that and all the yada da 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 And they keep your mind, they, they keep your mind focused on some other shit in the background, which don't amount to a hill of fucking beans. Then, in the background, they change the shit up back on the backside. This is what they do. They have set in their heart. They will exalt their throne above the stars of God. Stars of God is the orderly arrangement, okay, of the heavens. Proverbs 29 and 2, 2nd into 6 and 9. Look it up. So I, they have set in their heart. They will. They have set their stump. Let's get it right quick. Let me get out of that. Let me get out of that. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's get it. Isaiah 14. Oh boy. Isaiah 14. Verse, we start at 12. Verse. And also notice that when Christians say, oh, we in the New Testament, we ain't in the Old Testament, that's old. Well, this is supposed to be old, eh? But watch, it's happening now. Let's read. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 12. How are you fallen from heaven? The word fallen means cast to the earth. You know, I have nothing to do from, with no devil getting kicked out of heaven, falling down to the earth, being kicked out. Bullshit. That means cast to the earth. And they are cast to the earth, okay? Now he says, How are you fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How are you cut down to the ground, which did weakest the nations? Who are the nations? The children of Israel. The Bible is written to the children of Israel. The nations are what? Lord tell us in Deuteronomy 28, 64, which is a curse, followed up by James 1 and 1, also followed up by... That's a lizard. Uh, I thought that was a snake. I'm out the door. Um... Followed up by James 1 and 1, John 7, 35, Judas 5, 19. He says the children of Israel are scattered to the four corners of the earth. So these are the tribes that are scattered in different places of the earth. Okay. And they are referred to as nations. Did they not weaken the children of Israel throughout all their different uh, captivities, slaveries? Um, Isaiah 10 and 1, grievousness which they have prescribed, all their wicked and, and, and child support and, 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 oh, we give you Section 8, but you got to do this, you got to do that. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, the Section 8 in, in right now statute is on behalf of single single mothers with kids, but the, the father can't stay here. What the hell is you talking about? That contradicts First Corinthians chapter 11. Why everywhere I go is ants on me? I mean, what is it? Now, if I get some... Is free of some gas. Everything down here can be dead. <laughs> no, keep on now. Keep on. When the, oh, Lord. He always on me. Hold on, Slocky. Give me a second. Damn, I hate this shit. I mean, it all, this is all the time. Damn. Okay. Oh, no. I'm glad I'm on my back still. Yeah. And I'm looking at this white ass sun. I mean, this sun is as white as it can goddamn be. And it ain't even 12 o'clock. It ain't even noonday sun. But it's white. Look like a big LED bulb, don't it? 
I believe that's actually another byproduct of Mr. White. So is a um you can't tell the difference between day and night now. Because you got the sun all day long. And most people's homes right now, their yard lights, those of us who are in the suburbs or in the in the rural areas, the street lights are LED. And your yard lights are LED. <laughs> can't tell the difference between the day or uh, night. Okay, maybe they are constituting the day of the Lord on their behalf. Because we know that Lord also means master and man. So the day of the Lord on the left-hand side is day all day, all night day. Just day all the day on time day. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Verse 13, for you have said in that heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Who are the stars of God? Stars is another name for angel. How do we know? Let's get that right quick. Revelation 1 and 20. Okay. And we will come back. The mystery of the seven stars, which you saw us in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels. Those, those stars you see in the night sky at night twinkling, they're not, those are not stars. Those are angels. They're carrying out a mission for Yahweh B'Shem Shah, 2 Chronicles 16 9. The eyes of the Lord roam to and fro all throughout the earth, showing themselves mighty on behalf of those who have a perfect heart toward our God. Um, okay, now, even Dabu 7 did a video here last two two or three days about how a guy with a very, very strong and very powerful telescope was able to look at um, a particular star in a particular direction of the night sky, and he says he actually saw a face and hands and legs <laughs> because those are the angels. <laughs> See? And even nursery rhymes like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are, What You Are, What You Are. Those are dead giveaways that something ain't so right. You might can't understand that at the time, but if you keep looking up and you keep searching and you keep drawing nods to your office and you're asking the Lord, Lord, why is this like this? Why is that like that? That don't seem right to me. Unless something I don't know. Let's keep on. I'll try to keep on track here. Now, so as you can see there, the seven stars are the angels and the seven churches and the seven candlesticks which you saw us are the seven churches. So as you can see there, even on your left hand side of the screen, midway is the seven stars of the angels of the seven churches. So now let's come back. Let's go back to Isaiah 14. Go back. Oh no, you're right there. <coughs> Verse 13. For you have said in thine heart, your heart, their heart is their mind. I will send into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. That's the angels. Okay. I will also sit upon the mountain of the congregation in the side of the north. And this is this right now is the side of the north. Why? This is North America, is it not? Spoken of also in Zechariah 2, 6, and 7, Jeremiah chapter 3, and in Jeremiah chapter 16 as well, right? Let's keep on. Verse 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Check that out. See that? So they've already said this already. And amazing, like I said, this is the book of Isaiah. It's in the Old Testament, but it's happening now. See, that's the one now. What has been to you again for this nothing new under the sun, Christian folk? Now, let's keep on. Um, I want to bring this to a close. I don't want to be on this video much longer here, but what we're going to do now.
Now, let's go to this one. And this is what I believe is what's causing the sun to appear white. In other words, like I said, they're reflecting the sun's light. Also, that guy also spoke that as well in the last video there, YouTube video. But watch this. What they're doing is in front of the sun, there is this thing here you see on the damn screen. Okay. And we're going to play that video as well. Okay. So this thing is in front of the sun. It is providing light to the earth, but also it's providing warmth because um, in this video here, you're going to learn that these massive 149 LED super, super spotlights are assembled into one array. Okay. Device um, produces like 5,900 degrees, which can melt a block of metal in a matter of minutes, and you're going to see that actually happening on the, um, yeah, so, it, so see, now, it's giving the heat, it's giving the light, but it, it is in front of the sun, that's why I told you, I've always noticed changes in the sun, if you go outside right now, or and listen to my voice, you'll see how white that damn sun is, um, so without further ado, let's get that up as well, um, let's pull it up. Okay, and there it is. It's called the world's largest what? That's why you, that's why the sun appears so damn white. Because of this damn thing that's in front of the sun. And you might ask me, how did that, how did it get up there? What do you mean? Every time you hear that, those terms, and lift off of space shuttle, so and so and so. Going far, going up into the 21st century, <laughs> Right? Endeavor roll is complete. <laughs> you know what's in that payload bay back there? These things. In other words, they are they're carrying their shit up there to bring about what they what they're gonna say is them in control of everything. But the Lord already told you they were gonna happen. The Lord says they shall make their nest among the stars. They shall make their nest where the birds fly. Okay, so now we understand that. The Bible is the truth. Whether you believe it, whether you agree with it, whether you understand it or not, it is what it is. Without further ado, I will also put the link to this video as well in the comment below in the description box. Let's begin this video. Isn't it bullshit to name your own company after meadows or valleys? Farms, if your hens don't roam on meadows, valleys, or farms, come oh, on. We have a commercial. This is currently a commercial, not the actual video. Maybe we should call ourselves Vital Actual Farms. Just a thought Vital Farms, keeping it bullshit free. Notice what it's called. It's called Sin Light. S Y N. Okay. And what is Sin? First John four and four, four and first John three and four. Whosoever committed sin also transgresseth the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Now we know that the Lord established the law. Okay, which is the Torah, which are the commandments. Okay, Baruch 4 and 1, this is the book of the commandments of our God. They that keep it shall come to life. They that leave it shall die. So when we look at that, those two precepts, we know that the law says that the Lord created one son. Now they got a damn, uh, 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 they have another light, but it's a false light. Okay, but it, I mean, Isaiah 14 um, speaks of the word Lucifer, which means light bearer, but they're bearing, they're bringing forth a false light. So that's in the spirit is telling you that, okay, which is, which is going off, going against the law, statutes, commandments, and ordinances of Yahweh, B'Shem, B'Shah, is false light. Light is what? Truth. So it's a false truth. It's a damn lie. Revelation 12 and 9, the devil has deceived the whole world. What? Deceived the whole world. What? Diablos. Diablos in Greek. Is what? Deceiver. Serpent. Same thing. Serpent is a man. Okay, now. And yeah, you better watch him. He ain't nothing but an old snake in the 
goddamn grass. If you ain't careful, you be done look round the other way. He be done spin you round. Yeah, that's how people in my area talk. But you get it, right? Now, let's keep on. But it's called sin light. Yeah, why? Because it is a breaker of law. Because they are now trying to institute a device on the earth that is going to... And another thing, you might ask me, well, how is it that photosynthesis is going to keep on? How are we going to eat? Well, if you notice, a lot of things that you're eating right now are GMO. You notice that? <laughs> Shit. I mean, I mean, so... So GMO, they've modified this and modified that and changed this and studied that and spent $80 billion to find out whether or not they can get this damn plant to grow without real sunlight. This is what they do. Okay. So now let's go. Okay, now. Let's keep on. So this thing has 149 spotlights. Okay, and and you're gonna find out how 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 stupid this damn thing is. Okay, just keep watching. I'm I'm not gonna interrupt anymore. Lord will. Let's bring it back. To you. Look at that right there. Combined, they shine 10,000 times brighter than sunlight on the earth. Now, there's a scripture that comes to mind. You remember the Lord says in doctrine, he says, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the noonday sun. Are you serious? Can't make this up. Remember now, the Lord on the left-hand side is a man. Okay. And remember movies like Enemy of the State and I, the Big Eye in the Sky? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now look at it. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. And the eyes of the Lord is what? The angels on the right-hand side, the right-hand side, right? That's uh, 2 Chronicles 16 and 9. The eyes of the Lord roam to and fro all throughout the earth, showing themselves mighty on behalf of those who have a perfect heart toward our God. But on the left-hand side, that's this damn thing here. Combined, they shine 10,000 times brighter than sunlight on earth, and it's called sin light. Is this making any sense to you? Okay, let's, let's continue. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, this is supposed to be called renewable energy, as they refer to it, as they term it. As. But look what this on your screen. In four hours, this damn spotlight assembly uses the same electricity as one house in a year. God damn, who the hell is paying for that? Huh? Your taxpayer money is paying for that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now that they got the debt ceiling up, all we ain't gonna have no more hikes in the next two years. Yeah, because they're gonna suck all the money out of all of America to do these types of damn projects. And this is in Germany, but if it's in Germany, you heard believe America is also doing this as well. Now let's continue. <laughs> But current highly, the current solar panels are highly inefficient. Shit is getting a damn job done, and you can, an average man can afford to put them on top of their damn house. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Um, I want to give all praise and glory to y'all. 
Parashim Yishai, Parashim Takudash. I do want to bring up one more thing. And I'll put a link to this video as well in the description box as well as in the comment board. But let's look at something in the um the pack of fire. So Rock chapter 43. Um I had reference this when I was putting this video together. So I, I I'll just go over it here. And this is for all you people who say that there are two sons and Nibiru and Planet X and all that little crap. Well, that contradicts the word. Let's get it right quick. So, Rock 43. <laughs> you got a question? Come to the word. Come, come to the Torah. Come now. Let's get in here. So, Rock chapter 43. The pride of the height of the clear firmament, the beauty of heaven. With his glorious shoe. The sun. They didn't say the suns. They didn't say two suns. They didn't say issue in S. They said issue in. So there's only one sun. Why? Because there's only, like I said, the sun brings physical light to the earth. But and it's in the sky right now rising. Those of you who are on the east coast and in central time zones. Okay. Um, but at the same time, the Lord also says, John, in 12, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. There's only one truth. There's only one God. It's his name is Yahweh, by way of his son, Yahweh Shai. So we just say Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because by Shem means in the name. He's, and he did say, um, and um, he did say in... Um, John 5, 43, I have come, I, Salakia, that's incorrect, I am come in my Father's name, yet you receive me not. If another comes in his own name, him you will receive. That's God coming in the name of God. It can't be that damn hard. You can make this hard. Okay, now let's keep on. Verse 2, the sun, when it appeared, declared at his rising a marvelous instrument, the work of the Most High. Beautiful. So they are creating, they, when I say they, I mean the left-hand side. Okay. Sciences and all this other crap. Okay. They're creating a sun. Okay. Um, it is this thing we just saw on, on this YouTube video. And they, are, they, they say it's renewable energy. And in the beginning, it talked about solar power. Um, solar panels being renewable energy, and it worked for a lot of people, okay, for a long time. Now they say that's highly inefficient. <laughs> well, if it's so damn inefficient, then why is it all over the state of South Carolina, there are these big damn giant ass 10 acre fields with nothing but solar panels? If they're so damn inefficient, First Corinthians 14 33, we know that God is not the God, do you know that, that God is. Not the author of chaos and confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. So I mean, so what, 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 what's what's going on here? I tell you, Jeremiah forty nine and ten. I have made who? He's such a wild bear. He will no longer be able to hide himself. His seed is small, and his brethren, and he is not. <laughs> yeah, he is not. Yeah, he's not on top no more. He about to switch to the damn bottom. How do I know? So Rock 10 and 8. Due to unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. What? Second letter 6 and 9. Isashua is the end of this world. Are we not at the end? So their rulership is now coming to an end. Remember? Genesis 27, 38 to 41. To Isashua was given what? The fatness of the earth, the high places, own up every damn thing, tell people what to do, establish all their damn laws and shit, right? Okay. And then, right? Have they not done that? Proverbs 29 and 2, when the wicked are in authority, the people moaning and groan. Are not the people moaning and groaning now? Damn, these grocery store prices are going through the roof. Damn, the gas going up again. Damn, these people just send me my damn tax. You know my damn tax? My land tax went up $345. What the hell are they doing with the money? 
People are going growing every day. Proverbs 29 2. Let's finish the scripture. When the when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn and groan. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So that's how we'll be in the kingdom. The righteous will be in authority. And all things will be done according to the law. Okay, of Yahweh Shem The same law y'all stand in effect. You can read more about that in Hebrews 8 and 10, Hebrews 10, 16, and Jeremiah 31, 33. Now let's continue so I can close out. Verse 2, the sun, when it appeareth, declareth at his rising, a marvelous instrument, the work of the Most High. At noon it parcheth the country, and who can abide the burning heat thereof? A man blowing up furnaces in the works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more, breathing out fiery vapors and sending forth bright beams. It dimmeth the eyes. Great is the Lord that made it, and at his commandment runneth hastily. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a decoration of times and a sign of the world. Did we not say that? The moon is a day we said in the beginning of the video. The moon is to, to declare a decoration of times. So it declares, the new moon declares a brand new month. It does it not. Okay, does it not. Okay, now. Okay. Verse seven, from the moon is from the moon is a sign of feasts. That's what your Sabbath, your appointed, your appointed solemn feast, day of atonement, Passover, the feast of tabernacles, are all governed by the what? The new moon. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a decoration of times and a sign of the world. Now in the spirit, what's the moon? The moon. Just like the physical sun is the physical sun, and Yahweh Shah, Lord and Savior, in the spirit, bringing light to the world, John 8 and 12. What's the moon? The moon is a lesser light. Who are the lesser lights? Who are the lesser lights? The one third of the house of Israel, Zechariah 13 8, the 144,000, the, the, that's all, they're all lesser lights. Because they're bringing and speaking and responding and acting and repenting on behalf of the truth, but they're lesser. It is referred to as the Alahayim. The Alahayim, Genesis 1 and 1 in the beginning, the Alahayim made the heavens and the earth. Who's the Alahayim? Stop. Yahweh, our Father, our Creator, established the world. Yahweh Shah, Lord and Savior, is carrying the word out. He's carrying it out. He's causing all these things to happen. And the angels, the angels upon the earth right now in chains of darkness, which are the elect, 144,000, the prophets, the teachers, right? Zechariah 13 and 8 as well, because not everybody's a prophet. Some people are teachers only. For now, I mean, depending on what Yahweh Shah is giving you and how you're working with it. Okay, so, so the angels assembled these things. They assembled it. Now, you can also, that's also referenced in 2 Chronicles 18, chapter 8, clock is 2 Chronicles, chapter 18, verse 18 through 21, also referenced in 2 Kings 22, verses 18 to 22. Come on now. Come on. Oh, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> okay, now, let's read a little bit more. Um, from, verse 7, from the moon is a sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. Does that, does that not happen? This book was written, this apocalypse was written in 1611, before we even knew what the moon does. And look at it, verse 7, from the moon is a sign of feast, a light that decreases in our perfection. Wow. Does that not happen? Waning moon, gibbous moon, waxing moon? Come on. Now. <coughs> look at it, verse 8, the month is called after her name. Month in Hebrew is moon. There is no word month in Hebrew. There is one in Greek and in English, but the first of the month is the, the new moon. If you say new moon, that means first of the month. The month is called after her name increasingly, wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven, the beauty of heaven, the glory of the stars, and ornament giving light in the highest places of the Lord. So I hope this lesson has been edifying, it has come to honor, and proud of y'all. Bishim Mishai, Bishim Mikhail Kodash, double honor to the elders and the apostles, great millstone, hope you're well. 
Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of the house of Israel, building the tabernacle of David. I refer to them as the carpenters. Shalom.